the school president, Dr. Eugenio V. Daos, members of the Board of Trustees, Student Affairs Head, Ms. Cheryl Daos, Academic Affairs Head and Dean, Dr. Maria Salome Aguinaldo, Acting Head of Research, Publication, and Extension Services, and Assistant to the Dean of the College of Education, Ms. Mary Jane Murillo, Department Heads, Staff and Faculty, our dear professors and instructors, distinguished guests, our dear parents, students, friends, and the class of 2020, a pleasant day. I am Vivian Hataas making this address to my fellow graduates, and I'm very much honored to have been given this opportunity to have a humble speech. How I wish I could ask and hear from my classmates shout to be proud that this is our day. And so, class of 2020, congratulations, we finally made it. Yes, fellow graduates, I am happy just like you that this moment has arrived to celebrate our commencement exercises. Even though I'm a bit awkward because of the absence of the graduation cap and toga and not happening in an actual graduation ceremony, yet despite all these hindrances and no-nos, we are still grateful that this opportunity has been given unto us. There is a reason for joy for what is happening right now. Thank you to our dear alma mater, Esgen Kosga, for bringing us into this moment in which the realizations of our dreams has come true. To the energetic and respected members of the admin, thanks a lot for helping us through our academic needs and students' welfare. To our equally respected and dedicated professors and instructors, a big thanks for sharing and teaching us the knowledge and for always being there to guide us through our academic and extracurricular activities. To the staff and personnel of this school for the services you have provided with us, maraming salamat po. Of course, we cannot just go on without being thankful to our dear Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ for all the guidance. To our dear parents for all the love, sacrifices, and baon, maraming salamat po. And last but not least, to our own families for their understanding and patience. Salamat. This achievement of ours are dedicated to all of you. Graduation amidst this pandemic happening all over the world may be a bit difficult experience for us students. But the opportunity that we made this far is worth waiting and anticipating as we move along to reach our goals. Indeed, this is a time wherein our patience was tested during those months of putting to an end all academic tasks inside the school. It wasn't an easy option to just accept the situation and wait for the resume of everything, most of all the graduation rights. Kumusta naman po ang mga estudyanteng dumiskati dyan sa buhay? May mga nag-online seller din? Ironically, this taught us differently. In those months of thinking, waiting, and finishing our unfinished business, these students learned something to just hang on, cling on, and move on. And this is it, fellow graduates. Here we are. And celebrating it means reminiscing the past, right? How many years did we share in one classroom? Don't be choosy. May mga matatandang... <laughs> May matandang isip bata kayong naging kaklase. Of course, we learned more about our dear classmates. We enjoyed being with each other through thick and thin. There is someone I remember uh, who keeps on coming back to the canteen where Sabaw is free. Mali natin, yun lang palang ulam niya. That's how we struggled. Pag walang baon, pahiramin. Ganun lang, para kami magkakapatid. Nag-aasaran, minsan nagkakapatid. And one more thing of this batch is that 
they treated us middle-aged students like other age, of course with respect. They are even happy when we do unexpected things. Andyan yung sumayaw kami ng Hawaiian dance at sumali sa modeling. Akalain mo bang nanalo pa kami? Ayun. At yung mga boys namin, magagaling sila sa banda naman. Those are the things we will be missing. And thank you guys. There are many memories we can still recall. One is being with our professors and instructors, oftentimes, and with their open hearts and open minds. The term Cosga family became familiar with us. For us college graduates, we are indebted always of what our alma mater have taught and provided us. Someday we will be coming back to show our gratitude and respect. We are always be a proud Cosganians. My dear fellow graduates, I have one more thing to share with you. The road to the realization of our dreams may not as smooth and easy as we wanted it to be. There may have bridges along our way. You might stop and go the other way. But if realization comes into your mind to fix something, never hesitate to continue and cross those bridges. Sooner or later, you will see the light in it. I am a true example of that. My road to a college degree has accumulated six and a half years to finish it. Just the college years. It's no joke. But I know you can do better than me. Congratulations.